least we don't need to worry about being electrocuted. I miss TV. Feels like forever since we had electricity. Sorry. I mean, you did what you could. You tried to help, and I blamed you for it. I'm so, so sorry. You don't have anything to apologize for. I know you didn't mean it. Thanks. I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. But I'd give anything for one more second with them. To play catch with Doug. To touch Katja's face. Maybe you'll see them again someday. Well, from here on out, I'm gonna try and believe that too. gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watch on my own. You should come too. I don't know. Come on. It'll be good for everyone. Yeah, okay. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. It's probably been a while for everyone. We just want you to feel welcome. It's warm over by the fire. What is it? It's rum. I don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to... you know... be around. It doesn't have to be. We're all adults here. Are we now? You know what I mean. Mature or whatever. I wish it was that easy. It is. People just love making it harder than it has to be. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? really good. 
Have you had any? Want a sip? It's okay. Uh, I'm a kid. Uh, okay then. Suit yourself. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals, and I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. Did you ever get caught? Yeah. The problem with glass is it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. You ate glass? I ate glass. I haven't thought about that in a long time. I guess a deal's a deal. Here. Time to not make it weird. Wanna sit here? No, that's... I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. <laughs> oh, Jane, you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Hey, you, Clem. It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah, we need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rum. He lost his sister today. And whose fault was that? Kenny, please, don't let it ruin a nice night. I said my piece. I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. And they do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. So I think it's best Leave to... Leave me alone! Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have... Leave me alone! It's okay. It's okay. She's in a better place. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Really? I, uh, don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted.
You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I, if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? It's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm really starting to think <gasps> you're full of shit. Look out! There's a walker! What the fuck? Ah! 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 Jesus Christ! That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere! That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. There. That piece of shit? It's half built! I thought so too, but now that he said that, I'm not as sure. If it ain't, kid's gonna wish it was. Are we just gonna walk over? Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Say it in American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. Maybe we shouldn't come together. We just can't have too much weight. She's right. We need to spread out, just to be safe. Less weight, the better. Let the Rusky go first, since he's so confident. It's okay. We're okay. Don't worry. We got some walkers behind us. That's only a few of them. We should be all right. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us. Fuck. That's two less to deal with. Just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Motherfucker! Shit! He's gonna kill him! Uh, Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! No! Kenny! Don't run! Go help no, him! No, Clem, Clem, do not! just go back for him! You're lied! You, Stop you can do telling it. her that! Clem! Look at this! I just Hold need on, him. I got you! Rest a second! Uh, keep him off us, no, Clem! No, no, so much! I got you! Luke! 
It's too late. Clementine, stop! Nothing more you can do! I got you. No. I got you. Come on, come on. Come on, you're gonna be okay. Go to the house. We need a fire. Oh, fuck, she's gonna fucking freeze to death. How the fuck did that happen? There's a fireplace. Jesus Christ. We have to get them warm. They're gonna freeze to death. He's just gone. Luke's fucking gone. We should have gone around. God damn it. We should have just fucking gone around. The ice. It was too thin. I just. Once that ice started to go, there was nothing any of us could do. You could have. You could have helped him. Don't listen to her, Clem. This ain't on you. You son of a bitch! This is your fucking fault! Kenny! Don't, man! Don't what? It's nobody's damn fault! It wasn't Marvo's fault. Luke was shot. And who got him shot? Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. Bet those magical supplies are bullshit, too. What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. You fucking commie piece of shit! Yeah, Teddy! Fuck you! You mother! <laughs> fuck the fuck, Ken Kenny! Stop it! you do to him? There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is going to help How is beating a kid to death going to help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know it. I'm tying him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? He's hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh... You got a light? I thought I had matches. Take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. The fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back, trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? Thank you.
can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this, this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. God damn it. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Always does. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth a crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up. Be out of here by nightfall. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Clem. Just be careful. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? You shouldn't have done that to Arvo. I know. I know, Clem, but, but Luke... I don't care. You can't do that. Jesus, Clem, you know me. You know I'm not like that. You scared me. You scared all of us, Kenny. It won't happen again. That's a promise. over but AJ needs us now we got to stick together on this thing all right come on let's see if the truck's gonna go my daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up he was a mean son of a bitch but he taught me respect girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. We're all just tired. Hell, I've been tired for two years. All right, give it a turn. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's gotta be out there. Now those rumors can't all be bunk. What about Mexico? Why? You want a taco? I've never been there. I went once, a long time ago. Just before I met Cap. All right, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> we'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl.
Wish they'd finished this place. What do you want? I just wanted to see how you were. <sighs> how do you think? It must be nice being a pretty little girl. No one ever expects you to do a damn thing. You and I both know you had a chance to save Luke. You and I both know what happened back there. I got nothing more to say to you. And Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! I've seen that look before. Son of a bitch! He'll be fine. Clem, he beat that boy within an inch of his life. We are way past fine. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too once. Probably had a nice job and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. We can still make this work. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Seems like you've done that before. You wanna try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. <coughs> it puked. It puked. Gross. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near D.C. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. So we made it? Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. It works? what I tell you? So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? We should look for more people. We need help. Yeah, this is crazy. There's nobody up here but us. We should head back south. What? We're kind of freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? the fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. 
We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. I'm with Kenny. We should head north. Goddamn right. Clem, my friend Krista, she told me about Wellington a long time ago, Jane. It's out there. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arvo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. We should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got loot killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. Walk away from us! You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. I don't understand them either. I know. I know, Clem. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. Maybe he shouldn't have. Don't you say that. I ought to slap you. You know what he sacrificed for you? What I did? That means something, damn it! I wish Lee was here. What do you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew, and what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now, grown up. I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. <sighs> I just hope I can count on you. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on, let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready.